So, we're going to have fun exploring the bottom of the ocean. We're going to get out there into these low tide zones and we're going to see what cool sea creatures we can see today. But we're going to do it safely and we're going to have fun. So let's head over towards our tide pools and we are going to look at Ranger Kristen's favorite rock and then we're going to start exploring. Sound good? Let's go! What's one animal out here? Yeah? Anemones, exactly. These green blobby things are anemones. And these are a special kind that grows up high on these rocks. And if you look out on these other rocks, they're coating them all in colonies. Because these are aggregating anemones. And in order to reproduce, they split themselves in half. So they form huge clusters all over the rocks. This is called the gumboot chitin. So the chitin is a giant marine snail. So underneath here is its squishy soft foot. Chitons are kind of like the deer or the cow of the tide pool. They're the giant grazer. They just stick on the rocks and climb really, really slowly, slug around, eating algae. They are kind of snail, but instead of having a twisty snail shell like we're used to, they have eight overlapping plates. So they look kind of like an armadillo or a pill bug stuck on the rock. So this one, we can't see those plates because it's covered up by this reddish brown leathery mantle. All chitons have that mantle that grows around their shells to hold them all together. But this one and a couple other kinds of chitons, the mantle grows on top of the shell and covers them completely. So that feels soft and kind of fuzzy and bumpy, right? Do you think you would have noticed this if I hadn't pointed it out? Sometimes they camouflage really well and can look just like a rock. So this one's curling itself up now. Those overlapping plates allow it to curl up like a potato bug, protect itself. So these are our common urchins out here in our tide pools, the purple urchin. Now in some places, urchins will sting you or pinch you or bite you. But in Oregon, the urchins will give you a hug. If you put your finger in between the spines, they will actually move their spines together to sort of feel you and hug you. So this one's dead, so it's not actually going to do it. Sorry. And that's the only reason we could pick this up, because urchins are related to sea stars. So they have all those tube feet that they suck onto the rocks really well with. So we're going to see some more urchins later and we'll be able to touch some. Don't worry about it. But this is what a purple urchin looks like. This is called the test of the urchin. So that's the skeleton that's left over after an urchin has died. All these spines fall off. Each bump is a place where a spine attaches. So these are really cool shells, but we're going to leave them here so that they can go back into the nature cycle and so that other things can use them. These urchin caves are a really great habitat for a lot of animals. These lined chitons and other small invertebrates will live down here, tucked up under the urchin spines, nicely protected. So this is one of those examples of how you gotta get down close and start exploring and you'll see a bunch of really cool things living all together in a community in our tide pools. So we've seen a bunch of things all living together in these little holes. This area is a really great example of how diverse the tide pools are. There's creatures living on top of creatures and underneath other creatures and all living together in this space on the rocks.